Sebelum lanjut menonton klik tombol subscribe, dan tandai loncengnya. Welcome to Finn's Beach Club. Okay. Uh, we're just coming up for eight years old. Okay. And Finn's Beach Club is actually created um, on the principle of not only a normal beach club, but for people to be actually experience the charm and beauty of Bali okay. uh, in this quite spectacular cathedral-like building with its beautiful archways. Um, so a touch of Bali. So this is the main foyer where you come in okay. and everyone loves to have their photo taken there. So Identity from Finns. You did before? Yeah. yeah. So that's Finns. And look at the view beyond. No wonder they love having their photograph taken here. It started, actually, it's quite a unique story because it started as an estate based here on the beach. And we would sit sometimes and actually uh, watch the sunset and then got the, con my brother actually got the concept to uh, start a beach club here where he could bring more people to enjoy the sunset. And I have to say, every time I see people enjoying it, I know he got his wish and people get to actually experience this really beautiful western sunset. I uh, love being part of the design process and seeing what they've done to actually create a really incredible business to support community. And so now we have 2,000 people employed here in Bali whole experience for the guests but also for the locals. We've got really beautiful, we believe in um, embracing um, the culture, we believe in really honouring the people and so what we're actually doing is we've set up, or not me specifically of course, as I'm involved in the design, but beautifully they've set up these really incredible upscaling opportunities. They've got their own academy, um, they're allowing people to have much better opportunities within their own career and uh, it's beautiful to witness. And they're mostly from the local... Oh area. yeah, locals. Okay, yeah, locals. Nice. The architect... Um, now, this is terrible because I've just forgotten the name of the architect right this second. But um, he is... He works with the local um, architect and they come together so there's a, a man called Richard and another architect locally and they have actually employed local artisans using traditional methods so um, it was really incredible to witness this coming together. Yeah this, this building is fantastic. I think. Oh yeah, yeah it's really got that great sense so what was the vision here from Tony the owner was actually to be able to bring um, guests in to experience this beautiful spatial um, and special space uh, and actually to be able to um, feel Bali in a, a really quite magnificent traditional way. We're doing a development at Centre Pay. I'm quite excited by that. What we've done is um, all of the, the different outlets within Finn's Beach Club have different kitchens and styles and it's um, French and Mediterranean cooking over in Central Bay. What we're doing is we're shortening down the VIP pool by five metres and then we've created this absolutely beautiful, well, we think it's beautiful. Um, it's a gorgeous central bar called Ocean Bar and that bar will be right ready for guests of the VIP club to be able to take in the sunsets and then go in and 
enjoy the meals and the entertainment of Central Tank. We've actually got, here is our core or our central entertainment area. And this area is um, where our main DJ comes. We've got some extraordinary um, technology being used now to be able to beam through. So there's all different lighting effects that occur. Up here's our um, premium areas where people can actually go up into the party platforms at the top. And here's our pools. This is the new pool that's the family friendly pool. So it's actually created at the end so families can bring their children in to uh, swim and enjoy. Um, and the, you can actually swim up to the bars if you have a look over here. You can see that here's the, um, the gorgeous um, yeah, the seats in the water. But you can, if you're not in your swimsuits, you can go into the Manta Bar, which gives you a really great sunset spot. Or guests can actually select to take uh, one of the day beds. Well, they might want to really venture out into the water. Here's our party pool. So we have a gorgeous section called the beach party. And uh, as you can see, the pools are phenomenal. We have round the 24 seven um, care going on to keep these pools, as you can imagine, it's a lot of work. Um, and look at this, look at the gorgeous area. So you could actually hire one of these central water cabanas and uh, enjoy the party. Oh yeah, the menus are, um, for example, here in Bondi, yeah. it's actually based on street markets. Street market. So we've got um, Indian, we've got sushi, we've got health bar, um, and we have many Italian. People love them. In fact, I eat here most days, and that's why I could easily go out more, and I certainly do at other times because I love supporting the local restaurants. We open at 10 o'clock and some people might think you just come on the weekends, but we offer the same um, experience, whether it's uh, during the week or on the weekends. So it opens at 10. So if you want a more quieter experience, 10 o'clock's a good time to come. Uh, but uh, the parties go on until 12 o'clock at night and every venue has um, an incredible entertainment program. So, and that starts around about three o'clock, I think, in the afternoon. Oh, yeah, well, so entertainers okay. come in, but DJs start playing um, throughout the day. Well, as you can imagine, we've got people coming in to enjoy themselves. And sometimes they're here for a whole day. And sometimes they'll come, guests will come for just lunch or dinner or something but we've got when you can imagine on an average day not in low season but averagely we've got 3,000 plus visitors a day so for myself and my team that and the operations team that means we need finishers that are not only comfortable but stand up to the test of time and that's why we've chosen um, the products that we have so for example the seating in here is all specially selected uh, vinyl but uh, we look for a product that has a strong Martindale. So for people who don't understand uh, commercial design, a Martindale test is a test that I um, always use as a benchmark for the quality. And so we need to have something that's going to stand up to people using the furniture really busily all day. So basically we're like a, a busy hotel. Oh yeah, well, I cho we chose your product for a couple of reasons. One, there's a great color palette. 
Two, you were easy to work with and sampling was great. But more importantly was the quality of the product uh, and that it has a really um, very strong rub rate or Martindale test result, meaning that it will stand up to very, very busy commercial conditions, which is exactly what we need. Are you happy or satisfied with our product or you can tell us what? Oh yeah, we're absolutely satisfied. Actually, something I'll draw your attention to first is I had the idea with these because it's almost like the sense of a peacock. <laughs> you know, where you're sitting around almost like a peacock in these curved seats, which are designed to be a little bit like being on seats in the boat, the back of the boat. And so what I decided would be perfect is that we'd actually work with local artisans to create a whole series of art. So these have all been designed by Balinese artists. You can look look along. We might show some to the audience now. But basically, the artisans came up with the design, they created this beautiful mosaic finish, and then we've covered it in commercial um, coating so that it can stand up to uh, lots of wear and tear. But uh, that's a lovely feature, and it brings the blues and the colours of, Saint of um, Bondi together. This is Bondi and here we've got this beautiful tall structure designed by the architect, uh, finishes are by me. Uh, we had custom furniture made, so commercial furniture. So I wanted to create some long lounge areas where a larger group of friends could come and entertain and so you can see here that product, oh yes, it's got just a great finish to it um, and it just works perfectly with the space, combining in and on the bar stool, which get a lot of work. So we've got a raised area near the kitchens here. So we've got more kitchens, as you can see. This is our, our yeah. product man, Ambitec. Yes, yeah, yeah, perfect, okay. And you could, it's just the quality of it is really yeah. exquisite. So I was very happy with that. Yeah. And we're, um, we'll be using lots and lots of that over in a new yeah. development. It stands up really well, it works great. So we've used it in quite a few areas. And they're very easy care, so uh, our staff just have to clean if someone happens to. Yeah, from the maintenance maintenance side's very easy, just wiping. This was designed by the architects, but how fabulous. So actually using traditional, so the um, local Balinese architects worked on this building and it's quite spectacular. Complicated but nice. Yeah, it yes, is. It is nice. yes. Monsoon was actually a marquee, and uh, when they asked myself and my design team and our lighting and um, technology specialists to convert this into a party space, I wondered what would you do with a tent, which is in fact what it is. And uh, so Monsoon was born. So what we decided is uh, we would actually fill the space, and this is probably interesting for people uh, interested in design to see. What I decided is I had to anchor the screen. So we have this beautiful interactive, so it's constantly transforming, which is really quite amazing. And so we can get lots of effects. Now, when it gets going at night, we actually start the lighting. But what we did is I needed to anchor those um, screens in. So I've actually put that into recycled timbers. And then I created this bulkhead around the edge. Now the bulkhead is to cause, to, to give a link to the tent structure, which goes nine meters above us. So a spatial element, which is really interesting. But I didn't want people to just feel like they're in the center of the space. So we put first, it's representing the waves of the ocean coming in to um, so onto the shore, yeah. And the white is it represents 
the edge of the water as it hits the sand. But in fact, what's actually happening is uh, I also wanted the white color to work back up to the top. So that's just, you know, for the safety of our guests. Uh, everybody comes in and they enter through this great uh, retail shop. We're actually using a lot of emerging local designers, which is quite exciting. So uh, new and clever designers uh, are able to showcase their clothing in here, which is nice, and jewellery. There's some really great jewellery. So we have a sports one over at the Finns Recreation Club, and then we've got a VIP shop that uh, I actually designed, and I can show you that one and some of the design philosophies behind it. There's valet services, of course, um, pastries. By the way, we have our own bakery, uh, which is Bondi Bakery, and uh, we have croissants, um, muffins, a lot of food that I find very tempting. And we also do our own section, our own um, gelato as well. We can start from here. So this is our priority entry for the club. And so this is our main um, reception desk. Uh, we have a beautiful small boutique. Here's our sunglass display. And mostly this uh, room is your design, right? Yes, it is. Oh, yes. really? Nice. Really. Thank you, thank you. Uh, this was actually a veranda originally, so they've given me some hard tasks when I came to design here. This one was an open veranda with some beams that I couldn't change. And so what I did to try and disguise it is this. Took everything up as high as I possibly could really deep places. We've actually done lower bulkheads around the edge for some of the cords and finishes. What I've done is lower certain parts of the ceilings and then covered that in deeper colors. They've, everything is washed, there's a beautiful washed finish on the wall and the ceiling, and that's designed so that it gives that sense of, um, the eye doesn't know really where to stop. And then to add interest, and again, picking up the curves of the ocean, we've actually got this wallpaper uh, which we bought from a local Asian distributor. And this one actually has the colours as if the water has washed up and the sun's on it in the beach. Yeah. And so I thought it's lovely, but I wanted something neutral again because we wanted to showcase the clothing. So uh, all, our, um, all of our displays have been custom designed by myself and my team and then made by an artisan over in Jakarta. We've got this all frosted out at the moment because, of course, the new club, new uh, e uh, Empire Day and Evening Club yeah, is being designed area, and, and created behind. Uh, this is the changing area. Okay, We've got a large full height mirror. And uh, here, this is another interesting feature. Is I wanted to divide the spaces to the uh, change room so they weren't so exposed especially when we have people coming through that aren't shopping. They, some people just come through to, as a reception. So we wanted to first create a sense of separation. Uh, I then decided to use some really beautiful um, glasses, glass that we've bought locally. So a mixture of coloured, frosted and other fancy glasses and a local artisan again that's made up the frame for us. And if you have a look in here, you'll see we've lowered the ceilings again because of some bulkhead issues that I couldn't change but I've put wallpaper on that, wallpaper on the wall. And when you come into the change room, we've actually had from a, another artisan in Surabaya, some really beautiful, uh, gorgeous mirrors hand painted. Well, I would say that if you came, I'd love you to actually take, I'd love the guests to come and take note of some of the features and how everything complements the other and yet each place has its own personality, coming together as one friendly community. And uh, in relation to your furniture, they should come and see. Because to be honest, I'd definitely recommend it for outdoor areas, boats, uh, and so forth.